morning everybody it is day 54 and we are leaving the abington shelter heading back into damascus for the second time and very excited um to get back to damascus i don't know why but like after trail days i felt like we've just been playing the catch-up game like working our way back to damascus um since we if, if you're not familiar, we didn't make it to Damascus for trail days, so we just shuttled up from Highway 19E and then shuttled back down and then hiked back up. So um, we're excited to get back to Damascus and then start pushing forward from there. So we've got about just under 10 miles, I think, to do today. Um, left camp about 6.30, so hoping to beat the heat. I think it's supposed to be really hot, like upper 80s lower 90s even so definitely i'm um, gonna try to push a little harder to get into town before the heat of the day rolls in and then we're gonna do our town chores just like shower um resupply uh charge up all of our things and then we'll probably hit the trail again this evening and just hike a couple miles into the woods um to camp this evening but yeah slept in the shelter last night after our 23 mile day yesterday which is still crazy I, I don't know why we did that I mean I do but like yeah it was tough um but I slept in the shelter I slept okay not bad not good I was having some pains in my right hip my right knee and my right ankle it wasn't it wasn't like my Achilles it was like the side of my ankle um, kind of like my lower calf so I don't know if it's IT band related but considering all three of my joints on my right side were just like killing me last night I think it may be a shoe issue so um, I'm gonna look in Damascus today they have an outfitter there I'm gonna see if they have um, these shoes the Hoka Speed Goats in a wide version, which is what I have currently. Um, I just don't know if they sell the wide versions, but if they do, I'm going to go ahead and buy the bullet and invest in a new pair of shoes. These only have 400 miles on them, but I don't know. Hi, better safe than sorry, you know, and I think I'm also going to get some of the super feet um, inserts just for a little extra cushioning i've heard a lot of people out here use them and heard good things about them so I might check those out also and then the other thing that i want to invest in today i'm gonna be dropping a lot of money but i think it's gonna be worth it um the other thing is a silk bag liner because a 10 degree quilt is just way too hot and i need something over me like i can't sleep with nothing on top of me so it's either buy a warmer rated bag or buy some kind of liner to use as a blanket. So I'm going to pick up a liner to at the outfitter um, just to have, I mean, that's definitely cheaper than buying a new, a whole new bag. So, um, and I think that'll work just fine. So I'm going to look for one of those too. But yeah, other than that, I mean, I feel I was really achy last night going to sleep, but I feel pretty okay today considering um, that we did 23 miles yesterday. So that's good. I got no complaints and I'm just happy to be going into town and getting town food and um, picking up some new gear too. So stay tuned for all that. I'll try to uh, take you guys along and do my best to keep you posted. The first roto I've seen blooming on trail. Beautiful! I can't wait till they all start to bloom. Made it to Virginia! Woo! Wow, would you look at that? Stunning. Finally made it back to Damascus. And now I feel like I can actually record. I didn't want to record anything the first time because I was like, 
I haven't actually hiked here, but check it. Trail Town, USA. There's also a shelter over there, which is really funny because this is like a residential area right here. <laughs> Maine to Georgia. Trail goes right through town. First stop, coffee shop. Super cute little cafe. Eating vegetables. Everybody can stop panicking about my vegetable intake now. Guys, got a new sun hat. Outdoor research. It's pretty nifty. My dad was concerned about my other hat being too hot, so I shipped it home, got me a breathable one, so we're good to go. Hiker trashing it up right now. Emptying all of our boxes into bags and packing the food bags. New shoes, who this? Same shoes. Got them. Got them half a size bigger. Because my feet are swelling. But sticking with the hokas. We're at the place which is run by the Damascus you know, Methodist Church, and we're gonna try to go grab some showers. All right, we are leaving Damascus. We just ate dinner at the subway, and now we are in the trail. It is 7.30, I think, so. But it's not as hot as it was earlier today, so it's fine. Everything is fine. Might be a little late rolling in, but that's okay. Mountain laurel is blooming. So pretty. Camp for the night. It's the end of day 54 and we had a really good day. We did a big uh, push this morning, like 10 miles into Damascus and then Got all of our town chores done. We showered at the church, did resupply at the Dollar General, hit the coffee shop, hit the diner, hit the subway, <laughs> all the stops. And then we hiked about a mile out of town and set up at a nice little tent site here. So it's about 8.30 now, um, pretty late night actually. Um, but we're exhausted. I'm gonna go to bed and think I might try to sleep in tomorrow since we've been doing some pretty early mornings. So, um, yeah. Oh, also got some new gear today. I got a new silk liner, new shoes, new shoe inserts. And I feel like there was something else that I got, but I can't remember now. I don't know. I'll update when I figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I'm excited about that and dropped a whole lot of money, which is not fun, but it was necessary and that's fine. Just remind myself that I budgeted for that. So it's all part of the process. So yeah, anyways, really good day today and I'm excited about tomorrow. Um, got another biggish day. I think we're going to try to do like maybe 14.6 or so. So, uh, yeah, be sure to check back tomorrow. <laughs>